Flower. Good evening! This is Belgeode again, and we are back with some Digital Combat Simulator, DCS World. Yay! Alright, so I realize it's been a while since you've actually seen any uh, carrier ops. I've been concentrating on the MI-8 and, of course, working on a campaign that I'm going to tie in together with this latest SU-33 campaign that I'm about to begin with this mission. As you can see, tonight's episode is going to be entitled trial by fire and it features a brand new squadron that I have created called Diavoli Squadron. Diavoli is Russian for devils. I've been making some changes shall we say. I went into my um, photo editing program, modified some of the textures based on some pictures that I saw on Google Plus of some of the Kazakhstan jets, the SU-34s and 33s that they have. Well I don't think they have the 33, I think they have the 27s. Um, but be that as it may, I came up with this interesting little color scheme that I'm going to be using for these planes. So let's go ahead and read the description and we'll get started. It says, with your new promotion to Lieutenant Colonel, and yes, you don't have to say it, if I'm in the Navy, I wouldn't exactly be a Lieutenant Colonel. However, this is the rank system that DCS World has given us, so just work with it. Anyway, with your new promotion to Lieutenant Colonel, you've been given command of the most elite naval fighter squadron in Russian service. Call sign Diavoli, or Devils. Your first task is to take your six jets on a standard cap. That's Combat Air Patrol. Our task is as follows. Diavoli 4, 5, and 6 are departing Sochi to join you on a Kuznetsov. Conduct a standard cap with them before landing on the carrier. Be advised, since the taking of Gudada and Sukumi, NATO has gotten involved and will be sending aircraft after your squadron. Destroy them at all costs. Okay, so the stakes are high. Tankers will be on station if needed near Sochi over the mountains, which I think they're actually going to be over the ocean. I might have changed that at the last second. Be that as it may, let's go ahead and get in there. Okay, so we are on the deck, and there's our little KA-27 SAR Hilo. Looks like he's heading out for a mail run. Let's take a look at the changes that I've made to this plane. Ooh, look at that. So yeah, this garish color scheme that you're looking at, believe it or not, the Kazakhstan Air Force uses planes that look like this. And I saw that and I was like, hmm, this is definitely non-standard. But you know what, I kind of like it. So I found this little devil clip art and I posted it on the tails there. And as you can see, Ivan and myself are just about ready to go. You may notice a slight difference in the devils on the tail. Mine is gold, Ivan's is green. You can see Boris back there, he's also got a green one. There's a reason for that as well. As I go through the missions with Diavoli Squadron, whenever we're doing air-to-air, -air, all the planes will have the yellow devils on the tails, and if we're doing air-to-ground, it'll have the green devils. So that'll help me kind of differentiate between them. But anyway, as you can see, our old buddy Ivan is back, and our old buddy Boris, and I'm thinking about installing a snorkel and scuba tank on Boris's plane, since he seems to love ditching that sucker in the water. Jeez. Let's take a look around the theater and see what everyone else is up to. Alright, there's Ivan, there's Boris. And hey, what have we here? It's number four. Diavoli 4 is known as Curious Yorgi. Don't ask. And he's quickly followed by Young Yuri in Diavoli 5, who, according to my story, is the youngest ever elite naval fighter pilot in Russian service. So we're going to be seeing a lot of young Yuri, hopefully. And finally, we've got Pietra Pietra, otherwise known as Peter Peter, Pumpkin Eater, in number six. Here's our tanker joining the conga line behind the Diavoli boys, so he'll be airborne shortly. And I do believe we have AWACS today. AWACS is up and flying, so they should be on station momentarily. Here's our little mail run person, number 50, the KA-27. I believe he's actually going to Sochi. Maybe he's going to go pick up some eggs and milk or something. I don't know. And we also have some more old buddies come back to help us out here. Ta-da! The Ukrainians! I currently have them parked at Gudada, but they are under explicit orders not to launch unless we lose half of our force or 
the tanker or the AWACS get shot down. So these guys are probably just going to be sitting here chilling the entire time. Alright, so back to us. Since the rest of our squadron is currently gearing up for takeoff, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Turn the power on. Turn the nav lights on. Canopy down. And make sure everything looks kosher. I can't even see the nav lights because I got the jammers on the wings. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and call for clearance to, to uh, start up here. Request startup. Alright, sounds good to me. Left engine start. Right engine start. Go ahead and put the flaps down as soon as we've got enough power to move the hydraulics. Damn, I love that sound. I wonder if that's what it sounds like in real life, too. That's so cool. Alright, flaps down. Okay, as soon as both engines have spooled up and the ignition lights have gone out, we'll go ahead and request takeoff from Kuznetsov. Wow. AWACS is on the job. Okay, thank you, AWACS. Well, it's good to know that we've got enemies already in the air. Okay, request takeoff. Good deal. Ivan, you ready? Ivan looks ready. Boris looks ready. Okay, let's do this. Got full military power. And here we go. Full afterburner. And away we go. Oh, just in time. Looks like the rest of our wing just took off as well. Alright, so gear up. Flaps up. So we want ye old radar here. And I'm going to hit the autopilot, which of course is going to swing me all over the sky. Okay, what have we here? Alright, while Ivan's rejoining, I'm taking a look over here from the looks of it. We've got Belgians, according to that marking. And they've got their tanks on, which means they're looking for a long flight and a big fight. This ought to get interesting. Okay, so it looks like Boris is rejoining. You guys up behind me yet? Uh, nope, don't look like it. All I see out there is our little mail carrier dude. I'm going to go ahead and turn the RWR down. There we go. That gets annoying really, really quickly. So let's see, what do we have here? We got one, two, three... I know there's a fourth one. We probably can't see him yet because he hasn't taken off. I have it set to them being invisible when they're on the ground. Ukrainians are just kind of chilling here. Alright, so AWACS is on station. Tanker just took off. There's number six. There's four and five. Oh yeah, the other thing that I've been doing is playing around with the formations a little bit. I figured out how to set it so that um, they don't always get into the echelon right formation. So I've actually got everybody in finger four which means that off to my left side should be Boris and off to my right side should be Ivan and then the same thing with 4, 5, and 6 they're gonna be arranged in that little wedge, that little triangle hopefully if I pull this off correctly uh, you should see a pretty decent layout similar to the Blue Angels 
Один, один, два. Удаление. Двести шестьдесят. На две тысячи. Сто жертвы. Сто девяносто девять. Обнаружена цель. Один, один, два. Удаление. Двести шестьдесят. На две тысячи. Сближайтесь. All right, so there's our three guys, and looks like they're gonna hit the waypoint before we do, but that's fine because as soon as I get there, they're under orders to group up with us. We'll keep an eye on those Belgians here. We're about to make some Belgian waffles in the skies over the Black Sea. Okay, well you guys can rejoin any time now, that would be awesome. Okay, so Ivan's in position, the Avali wing is forming up, and where in the hell is Boris? Boris, where are you, man? Oh, there he is. I saw a glimpse of him there. Okay, so we're heading to our next waypoint. These guys are coming straight at us. This ought to be interesting. We're going to gain a little bit of altitude so that they can pass below us here. It's a beautiful morning to take down some bogeys. Ah, look at that. See, Ivan's always in position. And here comes Boris. Well, glad you could make it, son. Try to keep your plane intact this time, please. Okay, there's 104, 105, and 106. They are passing off to my starboard side. Howdy, boys! I'm gonna put you guys through your paces and see how good you are today. And there they go. They should be lining up shortly. Actually, let's look from the outside. Hey, look, there goes the tanker. Hopefully we won't need him, but he's there if necessary. Okay, so those guys should be turning around and then swinging back this way. I love this formation, though. Look at this. This is freaking awesome. If there were a fourth person in the group, they would probably be off to the left side of Boris, over where the other planes are right now. But I just love this layout, this finger four layout. I think it is so cool. Alright, here's the plan. As soon as we hit the next waypoint, I'm going to have Boris and Ivan turn on their radars, so that way we've got a little bit more eye in the sky. In the meantime, I'm going to contact AWACS and see what we got ahead of us here. Need a bogey dope, please. 199. Hmm, 113 for 160 at 11,000 meters. Wow, those guys are going up there. I wonder why they're so high. Oh, wait a minute, I know why they're so high. They're trying to avoid the SAMs that we've got over Sukumi and Gudata, since we now control both those airports. I kind of tied it in with the previous story that we were telling. And I'm going to do the same thing with the MI-8 as well, the campaign that we're working on there. Alright, that will be the tanker. Good deal. Okay, so we got the tanker on station if needed, and we are headed for the skies. See if we can catch these Falcons. As promised, I'm going to have Boris and Ivan turn your radars on, please. And let's see if the entire wing has formed up. Eh, almost. Almost. I don't know what's up with 106. Come on, Pietro, get in there. Okay, so we're at close to about 20,000 feet. That's Angels 20. Gonna straighten up here. Ah, oh, look at that. That is a thing of beauty right there. 
Okay, well now that we are pretty much in formation, I'm going to go ahead and turn off our navigation lights. That is so cool. All six jets. Very nice, very nice. Now if only we can all get back to the carrier safely. Okay, so here's my next plan, is once we get to this next waypoint, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the autopilot, because we should be pretty much in the neighborhood where these Falcons are going to be heading towards. And then I'll turn on my own radar, unless, of course, Boris or Ivan give me notification that uh, we've got incoming. From the looks of things, it looks like they are ahead and just off the port side. You can see those green dots on the RWR there. Okay, we've got less than 19 kilometers to go. 112 for 100 at 1500. Wait, what is he doing at 1500? All of a sudden, those guys are like falling out of the sky. What in the hell is going on there? I wonder if they're engaging the SAMs. That could get interesting, because I don't think they've got any ground munitions, let alone anti-radiation missiles. Alright, well, until I hear from Ivan or Boris, I'm going to assume that they're not attacking us just yet. Which is also fine by me. Sometimes these cap missions can be kind of boring. There's like no activity or the enemy doesn't get close enough or aggressive enough for you to really warrant leaving your post, so to speak. Then there's days like today. Oh, look at that. The F-16 Falcons have been destroyed. Oh, what a shame. You guys still rejoining? No, you're already rejoined. What the hell, man? Oh, they were getting froggy. They were looking to go out there and get a piece of that action. Well, apparently you don't need to. Looks like the Sams took care of that. So mental note, if you are a Belgian flying an F-16, try not to get too close to a Sam site, let alone four of them. It's not going to end very well for you. Now, I'm pretty sure we've got some more enemies out there. I've heard rumors that the French are out here with their mirages, so we'll see if these guys launch and if they want to play. My boys are itching for some action. We brought all the missiles to this party. Alright, we're going to make a hard right here. Ah, there they go. Just like the Blue Angels, only less blue and more green. Alright guys, hold it together here. Looks like Ivan's in position. Boris, where are you at? Holy crap, everybody just went out of formation. Dudes! Come on, we are professionals here! Good grief. Do I need to get you all F-18s? Is that what's going on here? You won't do this unless you've got an F-18? Well, at least Ivan's paying attention. Feeling a little froggy here, so when we get to this next waypoint, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the autopilot, and we're going to go searching for some trouble. Provided, of course, my wing will actually get back into position. What in the hell are you guys doing? Oh my god, they're all on crack. There you go. Settle down, settle down. Well, why don't we go introduce ourselves to them. Hi, this is Diablo Squadron. Welcome to your death. Okay, I'm all over it, AWACS. Provided, of course, the lag don't kill me. Holy crap, what in the hell was that? Okay, 107 for 140 at 500. Okay, these guys are definitely on the deck. I hear ya. Alright, Ivan, or Boris, as the case may be. Yeah, I think that's Boris. 
103. What's with 106 lagging so far behind? What the hell, man? That's Ivan! Okay, I don't see these guys. Okay, we are going a little too slow. I'm going to speed up some. There they are. Okay, we're pretty much head to head with these suckers. And they're staying low to the deck. It looks like they learned the lesson that the Belgians had to learn the hard way. They're definitely French, that's for sure. Oh my god, they're going to announce everything. All four of them. Yes, we know where they are. Thank you. I don't remember if these guys have radar missiles. Mm. Ah, there they are. Now they're popping up at the top of my HUD. I think I can get a lock on them yet, though. They are in perfect formation from the looks of it here, so it's going to be interesting trying to pick them out on the radar. Ah, but I got one! Okay, guys, time to go hunting. Diavoli 4, 5, and 6, take the high road, please. Go hunt some mirages. There they go! Alright, two and three, you're with me. We're gonna see if we can catch these guys in a pincer movement here. Yep, those guys are swinging out to the right, and here's our intended targets. Okay, they're coming straight for us. Let's do this. Got launch authorization. Let me open up the festivities. Fox one. Ivan, Boris, feel free to engage. Nice, nice. I'm gonna flood the skies here. Fox one. Are our missiles not even tracking? What the hell is going on here? Oh, look at that! They've got flares all over the freaking place. Okay, time to break formation. I want this dude. Where'd he go? Where the hell is he? There he is. Go for it. Take him out. Take him out. You missed. 
Alright, here we go. Fox 2. That's a boom flower right there. Very nice, very nice. Alright, break off. I got this guy. Fox 2. Oh shit, too close. That was a wasted missile. Oh, very nice. Oh, there he is, there he is. Come on, baby, come on, come on. Alright, I want this guy right here. Box 2! Where'd that other guy go? Boom flower! Pretty sure there's another guy around here somewhere. Hmm. I can't see him. Is he below me? There's gotta be one more left. Oh, Ivan's got him. Ivan's got him. Okay, where are you shooting, Ivan? He's off to my left, obviously. There he is! Holy crap, that's a boom flower! Very nice! I think that should be all of them. Outstanding. Oh, no, looks like there's one more, maybe. I thought I saw something. Oh, no, we got him! Very nice. All enemy air assets have been wiped out. You may RTB to Admiral Kuznetsov. Outstanding. Okay, guys. You know what to do. Rejoin. And looks like they're going to do that already. Very nice for our first outing as Diavoli Squadron. I'm not quite sure how 4, 5, and 6 did because I didn't really see them, to be honest with you. Alright, I know Ivan's still alive. Where in the hell is he? There's a the Ukrainian. Sorry guys, no work for you today. You guys can uh, chill and play cards and drink vodka. There's our grocery runner boy. AWACS, tanker. Okay, there's six. Where in the hell are you guys? Did you guys like abandon us or something? Sons of bitches, I think you did. Hmm. Six, five, four. Well, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it because you guys are the nuggets in this group, so I'd rather you be safe than be dead. Alright, there's Ivan. Or no, there's Boris. There's Ivan. Ivan, where in the hell are you? Oh, right below us. Okay, never mind. Feel free to get back in formation there, buddy. Not too shabby, if I should say so myself. Of course, we've got a ways to go to get back to the deck. So it looks like half the job was done for us. I didn't anticipate those Sams being a little bit as aggressive as they were, but they pretty much took out all the Falcons for us. Hey, that works for me. That's still a win in my book. So now, all we need to do is just get back home. I'm hoping that both Boris and Ivan will have enough gas to get there, but if not, we do have that tanker on station, so we can always take a stop there. Alright, Boris is in position. Ivan, now you are not in position. I keep saying you're the guy that's always in position, but now you're making me look bad here. Let's check on the rest of the guys. You know what, I'm going to click on them on the map so that way I don't have to cycle through all the planes. What do we have there? 106. I don't want 106. I want 104. Give me your wing lead. Wing lead! That's 105. Damn it! You're moving too fast. I can't click on you. Bam! Bam! Oh, you sons of bitches. You know what? I'm not even going to waste my time because I'm going to end up crashing. Okay. 
Okay, they are passing waypoint three. Why in the hell are they passing waypoint three? Dudes, go back to base. What the hell are you doing, man? RTB, F5. Oh, what the hell are you doing? There we go, Diavoli's RTB. All right, get your planes back on the deck, because it doesn't look like you really did much to help us out. But that's fine, I'll let it slide this time, because you guys are newbies. Let's get those planes on the deck by the time I get back to the carrier. Thank you! There really needs to be more female voices in this. I'd love to have, like, some female co-pilots or wingmen. Wing women. Wing person? I don't even know. I'm not even going to try to be politically correct about it. I am, however, going to check in with 4, 5, and 6 and see where they are. Hmm. Nothing on the map. Oh, there they are. Uh, they're just passing the tanker, which means they should be closing in on the carrier relatively shortly. Oh, they changed formation. Oh, that's neat. I've never seen them do that before. Huh, because that is not the formation that I assigned them, but that's okay. As long as they're heading back to the carrier, I can have them in a marshal stack. I think that's what that is. So what's going on down here? Oh, you know what? I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. That's right control and then the division sign on the number pad. Um, right there should be good enough. I found out about this little trick as well recently. Gives you a better view of everything. I'm still over the landing signal officer's uh, bubble or whatever this is. This way I can get a better idea of what's happening and look at that. See those three crosses over the cruiser? That'll be four, five, and six. And in this, I'm assuming, is either the tanker or the AWACS, one of the two of them. Probably the tanker. I thought it was heading my way. It looks like it's turning around to go our way. Which is fine. We should rendezvous with it just in time. Okay, so these guys are coming within range. This is good. So not a shabby day at all. We got some formation flying in. We also got to take down some bandits. The Sams kind of stole our thunder and took down the first four bandits that I had set up for us, but eh, okay. The Ukrainians, of course, they are not lamenting their losses because they're busy getting drunk, as usual. Our pizza delivery guy is closing in on Gudata, I think. No, Gudata's over there where those Ukrainians are parked. Where the hell is he going? Apparently he's moonlighting as a traffic copter. Good luck with that gig, buddy. AWACS is on station. AWACS, you've been real quiet lately. What's going on? Give me a bogey dope, just for old time's sake. That's what I like to see. The skies are clean. Okay, as you were, sir. Meanwhile, forever alone tanker over here. Let's see if Ivan needs to stop. Okay, I can definitely see the carrier from number six's point of view. And there's number five. Number four, do you have your lights on? Are you ready to land yet? Yes, he does. Good deal. Alright, so it looks like we might actually be fortunate enough to get all these guys on the deck. That would make for a great ending. That is, of course, providing that the AI will not bug out and actually allow these guys to land like they're supposed to. We'll check in with them in a little bit here and see if they actually make it on the deck before we get there. Alright guys, last call for alcohol. You guys want any gas? It's on me, I'm treating today. Don't all talk at once. You know what, just to be on the safe side, 
in case 4, 5, and 6 take forever and a day to come down. I think I'm going to go ahead and have Ivan and Boris hit the tanker real quick. There they go! Alright guys, don't come back unless you have some gas. Okay, so I've got about 33 kilometers till I hit the waypoint and start heading home. So let's go ahead and look at Curious Yorgi. There he is. Looking good, man. Looking good. You got a nice clear deck. You are lined up perfectly. Almost at the three-quarter mile point. Very nice, man. Very nice. There he is, three quarters of a mile, and he is calling the ball. Come on, Yorgi, bring it in. It's looking good. There's five and six over to the right there. Oh, I could watch this stuff all day long. Nice trap, two wire. Very good, very good. Alright, get off my deck. Cool, five and six, you're up. Look at that precision flying. Oh my god, if only I could do that. Every time I try to latch onto the tanker, it usually ends up going really, really badly. But I always have to have a tanker in here because you never know when your AI is going to decide to use afterburner the entire time and run out in like five seconds. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty right there. Okay, guys, don't take too long. Okay, we are passing the ship as is naval custom. We're going to go ahead and pull the tail hook down. Don't ask me whose naval custom that is, but that's what I'm doing. Yep. Looks like Yorgi's parked. Alright, I don't know if 5 and 6 are going to try and come down now that I'm in the pattern. But, if it's going to take them a while to set up, then I might just chance it anyway. I'm going to drop some power here while I'm at it. Check in on the tanker boys. Oh, looks like Boris is getting gas. And there we go. Ivan's getting gas. Cool. I love it when my wingmen are getting gas. Because that means they'll actually be in the air longer in case this whole landing thing goes south. Uh, I can't tell if five or six are coming in. Let's check the map again. Mm, yeah, it looks like they might be. I suppose I could probably try and sneak in there, maybe. Might be a bad idea. I should be number four to land. Hmm. Difficult call. Let's take a look from their point of view. Okay, five has his lights on, so I'm assuming that means he's going to want to try and land. Six, where are you? You are still over there. Not really doing a whole hell of a lot. Okay, that's me going off to that side. Yorgi's down. This, I believe, is young Yuri. So he's going to bring his bird in. I don't want to get beyond 10 miles from the boat, so I'm going to have to keep watching my icon over here. When it looks like I'm getting a little further out, I will turn around. OK, 
Okay, so there's the view from Yuri's plane. He's looking good. He's looking good. I think you can do this, man. Wait till he's got a lineup, and then we'll switch to the carrier's landing signal officer view. Oh, he's doing one of them rudder turns. Okay, well, you can do a flat turn, that's fine. Don't forget your tail hook. There you go. Oh, you're looking sweet, buddy. You're looking sweet. Alright, bring her home. Okay, there's me, seven miles out. As soon as I break eight miles, I'm going to turn around the other way. Come on, Yuri. I have faith in you. You can do it, buddy. And there he is, at three quarters of a mile. Looking good. Looking good. He has the ball. Look at that. Textbook landing. Very nicely done, young Yuri. Alright, get off my deck. Okay, so. Next it's going to be Pietra's turn. Oh, there's Boris. I guess they're done with their gas. I'll wait for Ivan to call for rejoin, and then I'm going to send those guys back to base as well. Because by the time... Oh, well, there we go. By the time they get back here, it'll be time for them to land anyway. So, go to return to base. Alright, there's the ship. Might as well just let 106 land since he's already in the pattern and his two wingmen have already landed so let's center on him he does not have his lights on because he's heading the other way oh well you snooze you lose buddy do I still have my hook down? yes I do and the flaps Looks like he might be turning around now. I don't know, buddy. You might lose your spot there. Just saying. Just saying. Nope, he's still heading away from the ship. Okay, well. I'm going to take that as my cue. I'm going in. As soon as Boris and Ivan get in the pattern, that's it. All hell's going to break loose. Speaking of which, I think there's one of them right now. Probably Boris, since he got off the tanker first. See, for me, this is the fun part. This is just as much fun as doing the combat part of this. Oh, I know that Boris is sure as hell not landing. What in the hell is going on here? Really? Ivan? Oh, no, you didn't. He cut in front of me in the line while I'm cutting in front in the line. Oh, you know what, you guys... Fine, I guess we're watching Ivan now. 
And I've still got my hook out, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that back up. There we go. Okay, there's Ivan. That's probably Boris right there. Or maybe that's me. Yeah, that might be me. Yeah, that's me. Jeremy Rossi, Black Russian. Okay, Yorgi and Yuri are over there making an infernal racket. Ivan's coming in. Boris is around here somewhere. And Six, there's no telling what the hell Six is doing. You're already in the pattern, Ivan. You might as well bring her in. Okay, I'm going to set this thing up to go this away. There we go. Straighten out. Straighten out. No, what is this diving for the deck business? Don't do that. Yeah, just do this. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, now let's take a look at Ivan. You got this. Bring it in. Nicely done. That's a true wire trap. Very good, very good. Alright, get off the deck, Ivan. Okay, so now that Ivan's down, let's see what's going on here with Mr. Boris. Cutting it awful close there, buddy. You are not going to be able to get clearance to land just yet. That is not a thing that's happening. I'd rather not like to black out while I'm doing this. That would also be bad. Okay, here we go. I'm pretty sure both those planes are going to get waved off because of the fact that Ivan's coming down. Yeah, see, there's six. He's trying to land while Boris is trying to land. Okay, Ivan's parked, so Boris might make it. Mm, we'll see how well this works. Six is definitely not going to make it yet. He's about two miles out. Yeah, he's not going to have enough time to do this. We're barely going to have enough time for Boris to come down. And then as soon as Boris is down, I'm coming down. Okay, so I've got about 5.7. I'm going to go ahead and set myself in landing configuration. So flaps down, gear down, tail hook out. All three things are a go. Where's my landing lights? There we go. And let's see what's going on on the deck. Oh, he's already down. Nicely done, Boris. Wow, this could be... This could get really tight here. Boris is just about clearing the deck right now. And here comes 106. I don't know if he's going to get waved off if Boris is still moving. I also don't know how close I am. 14, hmm. We'll see how well this works. He's going to try it anyway. Alright, may the force be with you. Very nice, very nice. Alright, get the hell off my deck. Can't you see I'm coming in? I'm six miles out. Oh no, he didn't. Are you shitting me? How in the hell am I going to land? Wow.
just wow. Okay, well, apparently we've hit the limit of planes that can be sitting on the Admiral Kuznetsov. My only hope is to wait for one of these suckers to disappear so that 106 can park in a parking spot. Oh, this is nuts. You know what? Screw this. I'm going back to the shore. You guys sort it out. I'll be over at Sochi if anyone needs me. Yeah, Sochi is right over this way. Okay, Sochi. Mm, F5. There we go. Alright, sounds good. Sounds good. Can't believe those suckers tied up the entire freaking deck. Seriously, if I would have tried landing on that, I would have hit 106. That's just craziness. Okay. Well, mental note. Next time, try to land first. I'm going to check to see periodically if one of these guys actually despawns. Nope! Craziness. I'm telling you, I'm landing in Sochi. Screw the aircraft carrier. Oh, don't even. What? I know that guy's not landing in Sochi. Are you kidding me? What is with everybody today? Oh my god, they're all like clogging up the traffic lanes. This guy's cutting in front of me. Boris and I haven't cut in front of me. Everybody's cutting in front of me. Nuts. And the carrier deck is still full. I give up. You know what? Screw it. I'm landing. I'm landing. We're going to do some formation flying here with this A-50. Why not? Why not? That can be a thing. What in the hell? I can't land at this airport because this dude's here. Can't land on my own freaking carrier because this. Alright, you know what? Screw this. I'm gonna go hang out with the Ukrainians, damn it. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kick the afterburner in gear and I'm gonna go hang out with the Ukrainians. That's how we're gonna roll this bitch. Alright, good data. I don't care who's data. I'm coming in. Alright, sounds good to me. Now that is the kind of welcoming voice that I am looking for. So, yeah, this is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to land in Gudada. Meanwhile, back on the deck. Okay, right here is a prime example of what needs fixed with carrier ops in DCS world. Look at all the parking spots there, marked with the blue crosses with little yellow thingies hanging from them. Why can't they park the planes in those spots? That would be great. Park them near the front of the boat. Just get them out of my way. 
that needs to be fixed DCS so hopefully when you come out with the new carriers and all of that good jazz hopefully that will be addressed oh which reminds me by the way might as well announce it now unless you've been living under a rock and have not heard Leatherneck Simulations a third party company that has been building aircraft for DCS World has announced as of yesterday or a couple of days ago that they're going to be bringing in an F-14 Tomcat into DCS World. We will likely have it by the end of this year. So yay! My absolute favorite plane of all time. And you better believe when that sucker comes in this game, I will be playing the ever-living hell out of it. So yeah, that was just announced. And then in addition to which, DCS World themselves, they're going to be giving us an FA-18 Hornet. So we're going to have both the Tomcat and the Hornet available for us to play with. And of course, with that, we're going to come uh, new carrier models and probably some new AI scripting and so on and so forth. It's going to be awesome, needless to say. Alright, I need to get the Grudada. I gotta land somewhere. I'm running low on gas here. This is this is bullshit. Look at that. I've got a thousand kilograms of gas left. I'm surprised I haven't heard bingo. Oh, I still got this open. Might be a good idea to close that. Okay, there's the Ukrainians. I'm gonna use them as my guide. And we're just gonna come down to Grudada. Why not? Why not? Got to end this mission at some point in time. It's gone on way too long. But I tell you what, I do appreciate your watching. It's always a great thing when I get comments from folks saying how much they've enjoyed my missions. Even if I don't do things exactly by the book or as it would be done realistically, you know what, I've never once claimed to be a real-life pilot, let alone a Russian naval pilot. So, yeah, you get what you get, and I'm just having fun with it. And I'm glad that you enjoy it. So many thanks to all of you for watching all of these. And I promise there's going to be a lot more to come. Provided, of course, I can actually get my plane on the deck. That would be nice. Okay, there's the Ukrainians. I believe they're parked near the end of the runway that I need to come in on, so deal with that in a second. Let's see what's going on back at the deck. Still no room at the end. You guys suck. I'm the wing commander. I should have had first priority. Now I know why they call themselves the devils. Alright, well, I'm going to be hanging out with... Um, my girlfriend here at the ATC tower. So all I need to do is get this plane down and enough talking about it, let's go ahead and do this. Let's drop power all the way. I might need to pull out the air brakes again. I might not. It all depends on what happens on this turn here. Admiral on the aircraft carrier is going to be like, well, where the hell is Charlie Rossi? Oh, he went for a drink. We didn't clear him to go for a drink. Um, well, he did anyway. Alright, speed brakes out. Okay, we're still a little too high up here, but I think I'm going to make this work. Gear down. Okay, flaps down. Wow, this bird just wants to fly all night. Not worth 1,000 kilograms, you ain't. I need you on the deck, baby girl. Oh, look at that lighthouse. How oh, cute. Alright, let's get a little bit more speed going here. 
Okay, that should be sufficient. And here we go. We're down. Oh cool, the air brakes are still out. Very nice. So there we have it. That will just about do it for me. Outstanding. Alright, so not exactly the kind of ending that I was originally hoping for. I kind of wanted to make sure that I landed on a carrier with the rest of my wing, but you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it at this point. I'm just going to be grateful that I am on the deck. I'm going to make a Yui here and go park next to the Ukrainians. Why? Because I can. Those guys owe me some vodka anyway. Okay, but that's just about everything. You should see the final tally popping up now. Not too bad, not too bad, but it looks like the real MVPs of this mission is going to be the surface-to-air missiles. Oh, well, I'll have to program that better the next time. Like I said, I am going to be coming out with an MI-8 campaign in addition to this SU-33 campaign. So the two are going to be going in tandem to continue to tell our story of Journey Rossi here and all his friends. For now, I am going to be signing off, so this is Bell Geode, a.k.a. Cherney Rossi, thanking you all for watching this video. As always, you can find me on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash bellgeode. You can now also find me on Hitbox at www.hitbox.tv slash bellgeode. In addition to which, I'm on Facebook as Belgio2015 and Twitter at Belgio. So there you have it. Thanks once again for all of your kind comments over the last few months. I really do appreciate when you give me those likes and when you do subscribe because I've noticed a marked increase in viewership over the last few weeks especially. So that's all you guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I can't thank you enough. I will be back sometime really, really soon with another mission. I'm going to try and see if I can get the MI-8 to behave itself so that we can get the next mission in that series going, and then I'll just alternate between the MI-8 and the SU-33. Alright, folks. I sincerely hope that you have enjoyed this, and I hope you come back again really, really soon. Ciao!